think it, it means a lot of the the world to know uh, what is what has been going on in the past uh, seven, eight hundred years ago of our Kupunas when they've traveled the sea. There was only the means of transporting themselves to and from, uh, not only for fishing, but to venture to the different islands and to bring these people together. Uh, for me, uh, I've, this is the first time that I've ever witnessed the, the ceremony of launching the canoes. Uh, like I spoke on the stage when they were entertaining, uh, that the Kupunas didn't know uh, about the, uh, this, this procession that has to, has to go on before that canoe touches the water. Uh, they should really make an opportunity next year to be here. I started surfing in 1948 and I liked it and we didn't have surfboards back then that you could, you know, ride too well. So I was into tinkering and anyway I ended up, uh, I ended up being a shop teacher in a high school, wood shop, and working on surfboards in the, on the part time in California. And then, then I took a leave of absence and came out here 30 years ago and, and stayed, <laughs> stayed in Lahaina. So, uh, and then I just eventually got back into surfboards again. But I was building them from, in business from 1958 through the 60s. Right now we're doing some balsa wood uh, work and we're uh, scabbing on the noses, changing the rocker on the board by doing a little gluing with a piece on top. Mm -hmm. From underneath to on top makes the rocker. And um, we got a redwood board we did for the thing, but right now it's got some finish on it, so we don't have it down here. And then there's, these are also balsa wood boards that are in the process. In the Cook Islands, it's a, we name our districts by the canoes. For example, the main island ha have uh, three districts. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, one district is called uh, Takitumu. And that's the name of the canoe that went there in about, around about uh, 1200s. And uh, they settled there, and the district is named Takitumu Waka. The district is known as a canoe, not, not uh, as something else. So it's a transference of the people on the canoe onto land, which means transferring the community of the canoe onto land. And so they have their chiefs, their sub-chiefs. They are the many people who specialize in traditional medicine, uh, weaving and other traditional crafts. Uh, they are composers of chants and songs, and they are dancers of uh, the various uh, performing arts. So uh, to me, the, the canoe is a community, either on land, or in the water, yeah. And, you know, they have their traditional navigators, their captains, their astronomers to specialize in the navigation by stars. So we, we that's, that's what, that's, that's my concept of the, of the, of the work. Back home, we use uh, breadfruit, and because these breadfruit aren't that big, you know, they're, we put them in like puzzle. We sew them all together. And this one, uh, we're very fortunate. This one is Albizia from uh, the Big Island. We're very fortunate to work with this. It's a great thing. It's a great uh, wood to be. It's easy, see to work with. And this canoe we built here is a uh, fishing canoe. The canoes are called wa. 
wa and there's the old saying that wa kukuwa chimur. So wa kukuwa chimur means canoe bring people together. So in the olden days, when the chief wanted to build a canoe, he called the islands to come in to build a canoe. And it brings all the people together. And everybody have a task. The women have a task. You know, they weave the sail, they cook the uh, food, and they do the chanting to uh, waken the spirit within the uh, canoe builders. Freddy Tawataha. Freddy, I know quite well. I know him through his dad. His dad was a great waterman, a canoe builder, also a long distance voyager. And Freddy learned his art from his dad. When my father came to uh, Tahiti, my mom from Tautira, from Tahiti, and my father from Hawaii. And then uh, that's when he really learned most how they have a lot of canoe cargo over there in Tautira. And that's how he learned and it came uh, better and better and better. And then uh, we grew up going with him in a, in a forest, you know, look, looking for trees, make fishing canoe, racing canoe. Yeah. And that's how. And now he passed away, so we just carry on. Huh? We have Stephen Feo Fehoko. Again, probably the most uh, well-known artists within this field, the canoe field. Built a great number of canoes. He was apprenticeship to Tuione Pulotu, uh, one of the uh, master canoe carvers still living today. This year I'm carving a canoe that called in Tonga is uh, Tafaanga. Tafaanga is a sideways view of a shark. So if you see my canoe, it's sort of like the front is look like a shark shape of the mouth open and then at the back it looks like a tail. So that canoe is usually using for landing on, on, as, as a war and fishing canoe. But they can use it mostly um, on places that is not good harbor. So they can land on, on the break where people are surfing and all this. My son is, I, I can say it's about his sixth canoe now. So he's, he's working under my supervision. Every time I'm cutting a canoe at home, I call him up and say, do this, do this. Even lashing of the canoe, he can do that himself. We don't really do canoe for sport. All our canoe is either for fishing or for war.